Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're just going to be talking about a simple topic. They talk about the pros in racing. What actually does define the pros? What, what makes you a pro for a particular sport? Well, in most sports, you judge a pro level based on the difficulty it is to complete the task on the field and then the competitors and competition on the field that you're going against. So let's take a look at both of the aspects of stock car racing versus dirt track racing, or we'll just use sprint car racing for this example. So in a stock car, you go in the corner and you, you grab on your little wheel there with your heads up display in the middle, and you turn the wheel to the left about, you know, two to three, maybe four inches, depending on what, you know, you're, you're, you're up to doing. You know, if you're, if, if you're really worth it and you want to man up, you might be Dale Jr. and go with the big wheel and, you know, turn 10 or 15. But you're going 200 miles an hour, inches away from one another on a glorified superhighway, which for some reason, you know, that's a lot more difficult than 210 or 20 or 30 miles an hour in an Indy car. Meanwhile, you got your big brother up there on the big spotter tire telling you where everybody is around you, you know, playing GPS satellite man on you, telling you where everyone's at. You ain't got to worry about it. You got like 16 mirrors in there with little bitty sticker mirrors on there as well. And you got sticker headlights and you never use them. I don't know what's up with that, but let's get on to the point. Then you got your mama, you know, in pit road, you know, radioing in to you talking about, hey, is your, is your water bottle empty? Do you need a refill on your sippy cup? You know, talking to you, asking, you know, what does the car need? What do you, what do we need to do to make you, you go a little quicker so that you can't figure it out all out there on your own? And meanwhile, you got 400 laps to figure out if you're going to win or not. You know, so your mommy can change some adjustments on your car while you're out there and maybe you'll figure it out. Now let's look at the difficulty to play on the sprint car, dirt track field. You go into the corner in a sprint car and you're jacked sideways at 140 miles an hour. Just 140, you know, that's not that fast to be sideways on dirt which if it's slicked off, you know, it's kind of like running on ice. So you're in there, you know, 140 miles an hour sideways on ice, basically. With a little bit of grip to the top side, this thing called a cushion, which you got to be like that far, you know, away from to be up front. You know, if you're that far away from the cushion, you're in the B main, you're at the back. Meanwhile, you're turning the wheel both ways. Meanwhile, you may not have both hands on the wheel because you got to do this tear off thing. Meanwhile, the front end is coming off the ground. Meanwhile, there's a guy throwing a slide job on you that's coming across your nose while you're sideways at 140 miles an hour. Meanwhile, you have no mirrors. Meanwhile, you have no Mr. Big Brother telling you where everyone's at. Meanwhile, you have to figure out how to get it done in 30 laps and there ain't no pit stops for your mommy to refill your sippy cup and there ain't no heads up display because we ain't got time to tell our buddies how we're doing on Twitter in the middle of the race. And we sure as hell ain't switching over on some little, you know, two-way radio to talk to somebody else on the racetrack and ask them how they're doing and what's their car doing like. We ain't got time for that. So there's the difference between what it takes to play on the field. Now let's take a look at the competition. Hey, Mr. Stop Car, you got 40 people out there you got to compete against. We got thousands out here in dirt track land. And if you want a comparison on the strength of those fields, you basically have a bunch of farm-raised fish. People who are literally raised and breeded to be in your series. Hand-picked. When we out here in dirt track, we got a lot of hard-working men and women. We got a lot of sharks out here in the wild of dirt track racing. They know what it's like to go without. They know how to work. These men and women and different colors and different diversities that we have in dirt track racing are sharks. When you got you a bunch of farm-raised fish up there and you only got 40 of them, we got thousands of sharks. So for everybody out there who wants to say the pros of racing is those guys, they want it be there. Bull crap, go look at how they get there. So as far as defining the pros of racing, I think I'm going to pick the sharks that are sideways with one hand on the wheel with the front wheels coming up off the ground and they ain't got their big brother telling them where everybody is on the track and they ain't got their mommy refilling their sippy cups.